and welcome to the first edition of the Dinosaur News Center. We bring you the latest news, discovery, documentaries, and other news about the world of dinosaurs. I'm your host, Lego Beef, and today we'll, and I will be showing you DVD, DVDs, encyclopedias, toys, drawings, art, and much, and much, much more. Today we will be talking about certain dinosaurs, but first we will start with a not very common dinosaur, a pal with a, you know, not very common, a very common dinosaur, a palosaurus. And um, a palosaurus was discovered um, sometime in the 1900s, I believe. I don't do a lot of research on times that they were discovered. I don't do much stuff on that. All right, but we will talk about different dinosaurs in every episode. But starting, we will be talking about a pentacles. Um, Now let me just get some things up. I will be using encyclopedias and books. A pentacles was a very large dinosaur, a relative of Sartosaurus, actually. Most most common dinosaur only have a couple of skeletons, only have a couple complete skeletons of a palosaurus. But today we and today we also have much much more about a palosaurus. A couple of new skeletons and other skeletons are going to be complete. So that's now on the palosaurus and now we will get um a dinosaur. Search for and I believe where is he? Where are you, Pasaurus? Show yourself. Huh. All right. A Pasaurus swallowed leaves whole because it could not chew, actually. And not, and I don't think any long necks actually chew. Um, a Pasaurus was a relatively smaller version of Brachiosaurus without the tip. Um, he was smaller than most other sauropods, one of the earliest sauropods discovered. It usually use its whack, it usually use its long offensive tail to shield itself from prey. So that's some other information on the Apatosaurus. And um, I will be doing dinosaur documentaries and DVDs, but um, here is one dinosaur's perfect predators. Includes Clash of the Dinosaurs, Perfect Predators, Monsters Resurrected, Great American Predator, Beyond T Rex. Because T Rex was not the biggest predator of its time. And we have the complete Walking with Dinosaurs. This is a very, very good documentary. This is a dinosaur documentary as well. And God, this thing is huge. You might not. There it is. I have all the other discs, but they are somewhere. They are somewhere. That's the entire thing. Now let's now. I'm gonna try and pull this thing in. Uh, and there you have it. And that's the back, and it contains. Walking with Dinosaurs, Walking with the Prehistoric Beasts, Allosaurus, Walking with Dinosaurs Special, and others, and other dinosaurs documentaries. And I will be showing you some art of our dinosaurs, but that is all the time we have for a Apatosaurus. Sorry, Apatosaurus. Now we'll, we will be talking about Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus was a very um, common dinosaur. He usually um, protected with Camptosaurus, which is a... Um, a relative of Guandon. Um, Camptosaurus was a very much smaller dinosaur than Stegosaurus and not well and not related. It was a very, very unrelated dinosaur. The only reason Camptosaurus hurled with Stegosaurus is because Camptosaurus didn't have any weapons. Rather, a Stegosaurus was a heavily armored car of its time. And now I will be showing you pictures of these two dinosaurs. Stegosaurus with bony plates on its back 
may have absorbed heat from the sun. His plates could control his body temperature and his spiky tail would fit as a weapon. Stegosaurus hooded with Camptosaurus in usually hoods that we find together in the same footprints and fossil fight and fossil sites. And Camptosaurus ran on two legs and fed on its hind legs. No way, that's I messed up guys. Oh well. Um but Camptosaurus was not related to Stegosaurus in any any way. And Stegosaurus and Camptosaurus hoods together were often attacked by Allosaurus. That's our source for you. All right, that's all the time we have for those two. Now we will be talking about the last dinosaur of this. We'll, now we'll be talking about Allosaurus. Allosaurus was a very large predator and was not the top predator of its time. It was one of the top predators, but not the top predator. The top predator of its time was Solophaganax, a, a, tall, um, a taller, ver, a taller, then T-Rex, he towered over the T-Rex. T-Rex could probably still kill a Solophagnax. Solophagnax had horns above his head and could kill an Allosaurus. Um, but Solophagnax, I do not have a picture of him in here. But Allosaurus, that we were talking about Allosaurus, but I got a little off. Allosaurus often was found without with Ceratosaurus bones. Um, Ceratosaurus was a small dinosaur. I will be get to him in um, this episode or the next one. But um, so Allosaurus was almost as tall as T Rex. He could probably not take on the T Rex on its own. Two, maybe a pack of four. Probably they could probably kill T Rex. A pack of three. Probably a pack of two, maybe. But um, so that's all we have for our source. But before we do that, I want to show you a picture of our source I drew. So we will. He's at. He's this one on top. The yellow one with the orange face. That's that is our. That's my our source drawing. Now I will show you any other people I talked about. Um, Stegosaurus, which is this guy. That one. Sorophaganax down here. And Ceratosaurus right here. But I might not have um an Apatosaurus, do I? Yeah. He's up here. The third one, right here. That's Apatosaurus. Alright, so that's all the time we have for this edition of the Dinosaur News Center. This is has been the this has been the first edition of Nick Week's Dinosaur News Center. I'll talk to you guys later.